The biggest thing is you got to get in the spots. You can't do it from the road, you can't do it from a drone. You need a shovel, you need a knife, you need a tool to actually get into those spots and the plant. You know, and so over my shoulder here, it's mid-July, and you can see a few of them that are a little stunted, a little yellowed, and that could be multiple things. You know, when I see that early, I'm thinking things like iron chlorosis, something like that. When I see those show up in August, I'm thinking it's soybean cyst nematode damage. Or even if it's really warm and dry, maybe it's charcoal rot. So these will show up, but the only way you really know is if you get in and look. The first thing you want to probably do is you want to get some sort of diagnostic tool so you can look at the spot right away. You know, the North Dakota Soybean Council has put this package together and this is really, really helpful. It's, it's water resistant, it's not laminated paper, and there's images that we've taken of areas in those spots across the whole season and there's about 20 different diseases. So that's the first thing is try to look with your eyes and see what you can do. And using a tool like this you might figure out that hey you know what I really need to do to identify this is take a pocket knife and just shave off the epidermis of the plant or maybe I need to split the stem or maybe I need to dig the roots and look for a red canker. If you know what you're looking for, most of the time you can get a pretty good idea. And if you don't, you can always take a sample to the county extension office or contact one of your advisors and many times they'll be able to point you in the right direction. You don't want to just drive by once. I mean, if you, you've got a lot of money invested in these fields, you know, driving by and get, getting out and taking a look at anything that maybe looks unusual or it's developing, if you can get that information, you might not be able to manage that problem in the current growing season, but you can manage it in future growing seasons. So just as an example of how to use this tool, we're in this field and we've got a bunch of little brown spots with yellow halos. So we know that's bacterial blight. We can match up that photo. Take a look at the information about when that occurs. We know we had rainstorms. We know we had high winds. In some places we had a little hail about a week ago and it times up perfect. And the most important thing is if you identify this bacteria blight, we also know that's not gonna cause yield loss. And so you don't wanna put a fungicide down.